Well, hello, uh, Q&A number 63, I think, 64, I always get behind. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start. Um, Sandy Leonard, enjoyed your video, enjoyed your day with your sisters. I wasn't fortunate enough to have sisters, so I love tagging along on your outings, that's fun. Uh, do all of your sisters live nearby? All of them but one. All of us are within... Uh, an hour's drive so it's really nice the other sister lives in Idaho and she's uh, five hours away so we don't get to see her very often but she, she's on a dairy farm up there mm -hmm, 600 acre dairy farm so uh, we don't get to see her so we're very fortunate to all live close by each other okay you do that one uh, Tally of Porat what's the baby's name okay the baby's name is Elizabeth that's Davy and April's little girl I think that's when you're talking about. Okay, Kelly Bell, how long have you and Papa O been married? I'll let you answer that. 43 one. coming up. 43 coming up, very good. It's always fun to test the guys because <laughs> they girls I I girls worried. tend to keep more track of it than guys do. But but you're right on. Okay, Kelly Bell. Oh, whoops. How old am I then? 76, 77 on this. Am I wrong? Yes. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm 77. I'll be 78. Oh, you'll be 78. Okay. All right. How? Let's see. Jessica Kenrick. Hi, what time do you upload your videos? Good question. Uh, we all upload them at 2 p.m. Uh, what are we? Mountain? What, what day of the week, Bill? Every day. Oh. Every day. Um, Mountain Standard Mountain Time. Mountain Standard Time, yeah. Yep. Mountain Standard Time, 2 p.m. That's a good question. Oh, and do you have two channels? Yes, I do one for the grandkids. I, I read stories to them. It's called Grandma Story Time. Yeah. And a <laughs> and few assorted. It, she was probably, and what? A few assorted. Once in a while you have different ones. Yeah. 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 yeah, and she's probably asking that because I forgot to log out of my Mama O channel. And I was in the Grandma's Story Time, and I was answering questions with Grandma's Story, with time. Grandma's story time. They're probably thinking, "Who's this?" <laughs> <laughs> so, whoopsie on my part. <laughs> Had to change the battery quick. So, okay. Uh, oh, Talia again. Um, what state do you guys live in? We're in Utah, and uh, you're in California. How awesome! So fun to get to. That's what I like about YouTubing because we get to meet people we've never would have got to me any other way yeah I, I love that okay Jessica Kenrick what is your husband's name it's Joe <laughs> Joe and uh, and we call him Papa oh that kind of rhymes Joe or Joseph but we just call him Joe uh, Esperanza's body what is the arm game where do you push down and oh uh, it's a game that we I've never heard we of that. play well. You know how you stick your arm out. Well, you, you stick your oh, arm yeah, out yeah, like yeah, this, yeah. and then they push down on it. And I don't know how scientific it, it is, but you push down and you say you say mean things, and then they're not able to hold it up. And then you say nice things, and they're able to hold their arm up. They become strong, and it just kind of shows how positive thinking. How negative words can affect you physically. It makes you weak. And how positive words, words make you really strong. It's a fun game. Try it. It's fun. Just just have somebody put their arm out and you push down on it and say say mean things. And they they become weak. They can't hold their arm up. And then say really nice things and positive things and just see how strong they are. It's fun. And you can do that with food too. Um, I think that's originally how it started. Uh, you put like carrots or you know really good food in their hands and they're real strong and you put bad things in like candy and you know stuff that you know is going to be bad for is them cho chocolate good or bad we should try the chocolate <laughs> <laughs> i hope it's good well i've heard that um chocolate that has like 80 percent cacao in it that's the the real name for chocolate that's the bean and that you'd probably be strong with that, but then the fake chocolate, probably your arm would probably go straight down, be able to push it down. But it's not scientifically proven or anything, but it's a fun thing to do, just play around. And it's hard to say the mean things about the person that you're on, that you're, uh, you know, that you're playing the game with. Okay, uh, let's go with a couple more here. Uh, Flossy Red, what brand or model bread maker is that? 
and it's a Bosch. Bosch. Thanks, I couldn't think well, of it. Said bread maker, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, meant. oh, our bread maker. I'm thinking of my mixer. Yeah. Uh, it's it's bread man. Yeah, and it's a two. It's a two bread maker. I've seen the one, but the uh, the one it's too big. It. I'd rather have two little loaves than two great big fat ones. Than but one it's great nice big fat one. It does the work. It does the work. It, it goes mm -hmm. through different heating stages. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it times it and mm -hmm. shuts off and, and you it, have hot bread. You don't have to do off. anything. You just yeah. throw the stuff in and push start and it mixes it and three, two hours later, two and a half hours later. When we were first married, didn't you kind of knead the dough? Oh, and for and 30 years I made bread with the, I made it by hand and then I made it with the mixer and made it into loaves. And, and didn't you sometimes grind the wheat? That would go. I always, always oh, ground the wheat. Oh. I never bought it already made. So it's just really nice to have a bread maker. I didn't think I would ever succumb to that. But when my kids were little, I'd make six loaves, six loaves a... Bread? Six loaves a week. And, <laughs> trying to get Papa to look up here. Uh, six loaves a week, and now I, well, I just keep do thinking, two. I keep thinking we're just having a conversation. That, <laughs> yeah. And I look, think, oh, we're on I try to get him to look at the camera, say, hi, hi folks in there. <laughs> Not see the top of his head. Okay, uh, so that's why I really like the bread maker, because you can set it and forget it. Okay, was any liquid added to this apple pie? Nope, the liquid comes from the apples. Yeah. And it really was good, and, and you look at the... You put six apples in there, there's plenty of juice. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, we'll do one more. I think most fruit are about 60, 70 percent. Uh huh. There's as a lot well, of. As well as the human being is about. Se I think we're 70 something percent. Water. <laughs> whoever knows that, comment below. That rhymes. Whoever knows, comment below. <laughs> okay, let's do one more. Um, Donna Conrad, what was that round piece? Round metal piece from the base of the bonfire. Just curious how how it was made. Um, let's see the bonfire in our. Outside? I think the one yeah. in our backyard. Uh, Papa O made that. Tell him how you made it. No, but I don't think we're talking about the same thing because I don't know what they mean by that. Well, the Did round they... metal piece from the base of the bonfire. I was wondering if you're talking it about the, the cinder block on the side. Maybe yeah, the cinder. Yourself. Well, uh, yeah. Well, let's let's do our fireplace first, and then we'll save okay. the other ones. Say how you made ours. Well, ours is just a cinder block one. Uh, with we use the grating from the inside of an old fridge to put the hot dogs on and hamburgers on. Sometimes we put oh, the, yeah. sometimes we put aluminum foil there and then put the, that on top of that and. Mm -hmm. uh, Get the fire going, and you our, put bricks. our whole 42 years, we've always had wood on hand and coal on hand mm -hmm. uh, to make fires. So, uh, aren't, aren't there bricks on the bottom? You have cinder blocks around it. Oh, but I then put. You have bricks. Oh, on the very bottom, yeah. I put regular bricks yeah. because they're fireproof. Whereas a cinder block is not fire totally. And that. Proof. Yeah, and the grating that we got, it's out of some old coal burning stove that we didn't use. It was our old one because we used a coal burning stove for 30 years. Yeah. And we replaced it, I don't know, 20 years ago and we took that grating out and put that in the bottom because there is a grating there. Well, we replaced it with a larger uh, wood burning stove. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that yeah we replaced yeah. it, but the grating we took out of the old one. Yeah. So we just kind of put together how we wanted, it. wanted needed and it, we what we had. It, we moved it around the yard a few times. Yeah, just with what we had, and we moved it around. I think that was the third place that we had it. Third place, and I like where we have it. One now. place it was too close to the house. Another place mm -hmm. there was no place to sit by it. It was just out <laughs> by the garden. Yeah, it's just out by the garden and stuff. So, uh, but we really enjoyed it. Enjoy it, and and this door that we have right here is really nice. The the neighbor guy, he made it. It used to be a window, and I said I would really like to have a door there. Oh, he's gonna show us. Turn the light on so they can see. But they probably see the door a lot. And it was a window here, and we said we'd really like a door. And that really opened up our backyard. You don't have to go out and around. And um, so, so 
so it's really nice to have our barbecues out there and everything. When our kids were little, we didn't well, have they, that now luxury. Ha now I get a fire going every Sunday and we do s'mores. Yeah, it's really nice. It just, op be where before you'd have to go way out and around, you usually just don't bother to go out there. But with this door, it just changed our lives. And, and the neighbor guy, he said, if you've got a window there, I can make a door. And that's what he did. Actually, his grandson made the holes. Made the hole. He says, you go, you go ahead, knock all those bricks down. <laughs> and then he put the door in. But that was a fun Q&A. Let's get us a little bit closer. We don't want too close, huh? <laughs> okay, and this is a quote that I, that I found. Why don't you go ahead and read that one? I can walk... I can walk alongside of you and keep you company as you struggle, or you can let me help you and share the load. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. And it was a story a lady was telling about on a on Davy and April's YouTube channel. Can't remember who it was, but she was in a wheelchair and in a in the airport and just struggling along. And this 86 year old man came over to help her, and she thought, oh, and he's. I shouldn't have him help me, and she was trying to She's carry all her luggage. He, he needs more. Yeah, she, uh, she was just thinking, oh, I can manage, and he, that's when he said, you know, uh, you can, I can walk alongside him and keep you company, or you can share the load, and and I just really liked that. And so I thought, he made that up. He made. Yeah. I, he he told that to her, and she remembered that. And I liked it, and I thought, oh, I'm going to use that on my quotes. I like that. It says. Um, I could walk alongside of you and keep you company, or you can share the load. Yeah. And I just thought that's uh, that's just what we can do. We can help each other share the load, and and help each other along our journey. Each of us have our own journey, but we can help. We can help each other. We don't have to take the burden. Uh, it's sometimes impossible to take the burden of somebody else take their whole burden but we can share the load and I really liked that and I want to leave that thought with you at the end of share our the load doesn't mean you take part of their cancer and put it in your body <laughs> <laughs> yeah however you interpret that any way you want share the load um, help however you can help and that shares the load even smiling at somebody is sharing the load yeah, it oh, lifts that burden so I just want to leave that thought with you and and keep the questions coming. We we love it. This is our time to sit and sit together. We we sit and watch TV, but we don't really sit and talk. Well, I and, work during the and day. And he works, so. and I'm busy doing. You know how life is. You get busy, busy, busy. So that's why we like this because we sit and talk, <laughs> sit and sit and share the load. Um, so thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thumbs up and good night, everybody. And remember. Is it over here? Where is it? Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>